In this video, we will cover risk. Let's jump right into it with an example. Here's a chart of Nifty. As you can see, Nifty closed at 8934 and this was on a Friday. Monday was a holiday, so the next trading day is here on Tuesday, 14th of March. As you can see, Nifty jumped up due to a major news event that took place. So how is this related to risk? In the stock markets, risk is defined as the probability that the markets will move against us. If you had taken a trade on Nifty right here, you were taking additional risk. There was a higher probability that the markets will move against your trade than usual. Now let's talk about risk management. Risk management is by far the most important aspect of trading. There are two important things you should do before placing a trade. One, you should have a stop loss and two, you should always place limit orders. Now, number one, you should calculate your stop loss. A stop loss basically protects you from losing more money than you're willing to lose. Yes, you can control risk. Let's take an example. Suppose you have 1 lakh in capital and you want to buy Reliance Industries at 1,400. Now the maximum you are willing to lose on your trade is 1%. So that's 1,000 rupees of my capital. Simply subtract the buy price 1,400 by 1% and we have a stop loss of 1,386. Now the maximum you will lose is only 1% of your capital. Simple. And number two. Always place limit orders. There is rarely a good reason to place a market order. Unless you have to close your position and want to execute at any price, you should always care about the price you want to enter and exit. A limit price basically allows you to choose what price to enter and exit. All the best and trade well.